No, no. Let him speak. Well, happy Monday, you precious kobolds. Hello, how are you doing? If this is your first time here on the channel, my name is Dragon, a Dragon Girl VTuber who is duct taping her foul mouth shut so that way I can at least attempt to explain all the weird, lovely, and nasty creatures you encounter in Monster Hunter World. As you saw with Baxter attempting to gather some ancient wisdom but failing, the beastie we're covering today is Jiratotus. And dear gods, I better be pronouncing that right, but feel free to rip me a new one if I'm not. I have to learn somehow. Jiratotus is a Piscine Wyvern, and to prevent me from having a rage and confusion induced aneurysm, we're focusing exclusively on the Piscine part of that name. As you can clearly see, Jiratotus is a fish. With legs! Her evolution is happening again from the beginning, and soon I'll have my dinosaurs and monster hunt! <clears throat> Sorry about that. Back on topic. Juratotus seems to be based on a type of real-world fish called a mudskipper. You see, there aren't very many fish designed to live outside of the water for very long for two reasons. First, their gills are meant to gather oxygen from the water. Second, fish aren't really supposed to not be moist. So for a typical fish, no water means no life. But mudskippers are capable of living outside of the water for a very long time. Mainly because, like frogs and salamanders, they've evolved to breathe through their skin. And they cover themselves and live in the mud to keep their skin constantly wet so they don't dry and can keep breathing. Juratotus does something similar. Juratotus seems to breathe through its mouth and lives in the muddy, swamp-like areas of the wild spire's waste exclusively, so that way its scales don't completely dry out and become brittle in the desert heat. It actually swims through the mud and only ever uses its legs to climb over obstacles or when some hunter decides to force it to stand up and face them like a person. And Juratotus is an ambush predator. It rests in the mud just out of sight, waiting for some thirsty herbivore or an overheating bear off to approach the water. Then while the prey's guard is down, the Juratotus spurts into action, quickly attacking its prey and then chowing down on its freshly won groceries. Though according to the wiki, it only does this once a day unlike some predators in this game franchise. It just gets what it needs to get by, then goes back to minding its own business until something else wanders into its territory. But that's going to be it for today. For those who did tune in, I do hope you enjoyed. Why don't you give this thing a like, subscribe to the channel, and go get me a follow on Twitch. Feel free to leave any constructive criticism you may have down in the comments because I can't improve at this if I don't know what I'm doing wrong and what I'm doing right. But as always, my name is Dragon, and bye bye Now, Baxter, did your ancestors give us that advice on how to get the commander to give us our raises? Damn it.